everyone welcome back today I discovered that I had some apples that I bought um, probably about a week or so ago that I need really needed to do something with so today we're gonna make a um, apple crisp I also found some walnuts so we're gonna make a walnut apple crisp I thought it sounded absolutely delicious and um, I do have some ice cream in the refrigerator so hey why not let's go ahead and get started first thing I want you to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then you're gonna need um, about eight by eight, nine by nine, depending on how many apples you have um, of a, you know, a baking pan or a, you know, casserole dish. That's what I'm trying to say. Or you could use a cast iron skillet if you wanted to. I've, I've made apple pies in those before and they, they turn out perfect. Let me show you what I've got going on so far. All right, I've got um, about five apples cut up here. I had six, I think. I, um, but one of them was bad as I was cutting into it, it was bad. So we're not going to use that. What I'm going to add to this is um, about a good um, teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of lemon juice. I started to say lemon oil. If you have fresh lemons on hand, you can use that. I wouldn't, I don't recommend, you know, prices of groceries that you cut a lemon and a half just to use um, a teaspoon of it on there. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla in these as well. Just a little dash. about a teaspoon of vanilla we're going to add a good tablespoon of sugar maybe a tablespoon and a half and we're going to add some ground cinnamon I know I have some up there open. Now watch, I'm going to open this. I probably got like, I don't know, 10 of them up there open. Are you good for doing that? Are you good for opening things that you've already got like 10 of them already open? Oh, comes out fast. You can add as much or as little as you like. You're going to need um, probably a good teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. That's probably good. I like mine's cinnamony. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to combine all of that in a sprayed bowl, a butter bowl, however you want to do it. Um, we're going to add a whole stick of butter to this recipe. So, I mean, if you want, <laughs> if you want to feel a little bit better about, you know, making this, then you can use um, like a non-stick cooking spray. That's what I put in here. Now save your calories when you can, right? Saving them for that scoop of ice cream to go with it. I'm just going to pour these into the bowl or into my baking dish. Now, if you got more apples at home, you can go right ahead and make a bigger one. You will thank me later. But, I, you know, I just, I really needed to do something with these apples. One of my, I don't know if I told you, one of my was cutting into because it had already gone bad and that, you know, that really makes me mad. We're going to add about three-fourths cup of brown sugar. This is a half a cup, so we're going to use like Also going to use about three fourths cup of old fashioned oats. Oh my goodness, did you see that? And I'll use a little bit more. I like extra topping, don't you? And then we're also going to use. about three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour. I don't know where my three-fourths cup is, but it's all right. This will work. This will work. So that's one. Again, this is a half, um, half a cup, so I'm just kind of like doing it, you know. 
like that, like so. We're gonna use just a pinch of salt, just to bring all the flavors together, you know? Salt always works perfect for that. And then you're also gonna need um, a half a cup of butter, which is a stick of butter. Now, I don't have one of those little, you know, butter cutters, butter cutters. I don't have one, so we're just gonna do what we can with this. I'm gonna mix that together first. You know, I could shred it in there if I wanted to. I'm just gonna like do this. I need a, I need a butter cutter. Might put that on my Christmas list. There we go. My hands a quick washing real quick. And then I'm also gonna add some, you know, I thought walnuts would go good with the with this dish. I like walnuts. Now, I don't know how my husband's um, gonna react to it, but you know what, if he decides he don't want it because there's walnuts in it, then it's just his loss. I'm not going to add a lot. That one don't look too good. Well, that don't look like a lot. Let me get these, kind of get these cut up a little bit. I don't want them that big. Well, I wouldn't mind, but maybe we can sneak them in on him. I don't want them too little. You want to be able to taste them. You want to know that they're in there, right? You know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. Once you have those, um, chopped or like I said you can leave them whole if you wanted to I'm just gonna kind of incorporate this butter in here Do the best you can it's not gonna matter it's gonna melt anyway it's gonna melt right over top of it because I don't have the patience to do that Or you could do like when I'm making biscuits. Um, you know, I shred my butter into my biscuits. So we're gonna add, I might've cut too many of these. That's all right, I will eat them myself. Get a stir, let's see. Now we're gonna put them all in there. Now, give these another nice little tossing. I didn't cut up. And then right over the top, we're going to go with the mixture. You know, if you wanted to, you could add raisins to this. I'm not a big raisin fan, but hey, if you are, honey, you go right ahead. I've never been a big raisin fan. I do remember um, being little. And Anne, if you're watching this, um, let me know if you remember mom. She always bought those little boxes of raisins and we ate them. I don't know why I ate them. I didn't like them. I just thought they were cool because they were in those little boxes. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of even it all around. Make sure you got a little bit of your butter if it's, you know, still in chunks like mine. And hey, it's okay. It's okay if it is. And if I got time for that. All right. There we go. In the oven, 350 degrees for about 35, 45 minutes. I'll let you know the exact time till it's nice and bubbly and delicious. It baked in the oven for 40 minutes. We're going to let it sit and rest for about 20 minutes or so before we cut it. Let everything kind of redistribute and let the juices thicken in it and then we'll give it a taste test. All right, let's get a sum out. I should have put a little bit of pat of butter right there on the side. I'm not going to eat a whole lot. Tonight's pizza night, so. Every night's pizza night. 
if it was up to him every night. Look at that. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm hmm. And those walnuts. You need to add some walnuts. So good. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. I hope you like this recipe. Hey, and if you don't have apples on hand, maybe you've got some pears on hand, you could use the same um, recipe for that. It is so good. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this recipe. I hope you give it a try. You know I love you guys very much. I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.